I can't believe there is another hose pipe ban this summer, because of supposed water shortages. Well, there is actually a water shortage, but curbing domestic usage will not solve the problem. What? You mean if they fixed all the leaking pipelines, then we'd be able to water our lawns again? Fixing a failing infrastructure would be a positive step, but would not solve the problem either. Don't tell me, it's this global warming rubbish isn't it? I'm sure it rains just as much as it used to. I don't believe the weather has changed at all. The effects of climate change have altered our weather, but you are right. In the UK, we actually have seen a slight upward trend in the amount of rainfall we receive. Summers are drier, and winters are wetter, but overall, rainfall levels have remained more or less constant. I don't understand. So who, or what, is using all this water? Water is used by industry, agriculture and for domestic use. But we use it wastefully. But it rains as much as it ever did and we have less industry and agriculture than we used to. Are you saying it's all down to increasing population and more domestic use? No, it is not because of increased domestic use. The fundamental reason we use water wastefully is because we take it out of the natural cycle and put it directly into the sea. And this is a problem the world over. Okay, you've lost me. We take it out of the natural cycle? Yes, we use it unsustainably, and so our fresh water supply has become a finite resource. Unless we change how we use it, it will run out. Hmm. Explain. Most fresh water that we use as a species is not gathered from rainfall directly, but pumped from underground aquifers that tap into the water table. In dry countries, nearly all water is obtained this way. The problem is, we pump water out faster than it is replenished by natural systems. We then use that water for industry, agriculture or domestic use. We pollute it, and then pump it into the sea. That fresh water is then gone and the supply we have left is diminished. But how does agriculture waste water? Surely, it waters the crop and then sinks back into the water table. Crop plants contain water, which is then eaten, and ultimately ends up in the sewage system or it is exported, and ends up in another country's sewage system. It is then piped into the sea. So eventually, we're all going to die of thirst then? In very dry regions perhaps, but no, that is unlikely. We can always gather enough rainwater to hydrate our bodies. But the consequences for other uses, are serious. In what way? Well, besides the consequences for industries that require fresh water, Without a healthy water table, large-scale food production is not possible, and ultimately, the natural support system that we take for granted, starts to die. So we'll die of starvation instead of thirst. There are many parts of the world in which this is already happening, and has been for some time. And more often than not, those living in affected regions are not the ones causing the problem. So who is then? Corporations feeding the religion of consumerism. For instance, imagine it is your anniversary. You buy your wife some cut flowers. Flowers grown by corporations, on an industrial scale, in a desert in Africa, where the local water is drained to irrigate them, whilst the local traditional and sustainable farmers find reliable streams, or their wells have run dry. Every time a crop of flowers is exported, water is exported with it. If you and your wife go out for a meal, how much of the food you are eating was grown in an unsustainable way in some far-off country. You give her a gold necklace as a gift. Gold that required water to process it from the rock that contained it, and that water is now polluted and cannot be used. We use fresh water as if it is an infinite resource. It isn't. Many underground water tables have taken thousands of years to accumulate, and will not replenish fast enough to support our current way of life. But there must be solutions to all this. What about desalination plants? Why not use sea water? Some countries that can afford it are building desalination plants, but even for wealthy countries, they require huge amounts of energy to run and are very expensive. Even if those countries dramatically increased their desalination programs, they would still be unlikely to meet their agricultural needs. The solution is to use water sustainably wherever possible, to return it to the natural cycle it came from. 
avoid polluting it and avoid inadvertently permanently transporting it away from its locality. But how can that be done practically? We all need food, and we aren't going to stop wanting material goods either. Localization is the key. Grow food locally, grow flowers locally, keep as much industry as possible localized. Maintain natural water supplies. And most importantly, deal with our own wastewater locally. Sewage can be treated and used to replenish soils and water tables. If we can see our wastewater returning to our local water cycle, we are less inclined to unnecessarily pollute it. But is that really going to happen? I can't see it. Well, this is a problem that is not going to go away. Water is fast becoming a reason for conflict, just like oil has been for so long. We have a choice. Live sustainably, or live in a world in which wars are fought in order to maintain a fundamentally flawed way of living. A way of living that cannot continue indefinitely. Anyway, what I was wondering is, do you think the hosepipe ban means I won't be able to fill my swimming pool?